forms. Alien life form. That's what NASA is saying. This is a report, a breaking report. NASA experts are now saying we will find alien life forms in 20 years as the space agency outlines its search for ET phone home extraterrestrials. Matter of fact, according to reports, alien life could be found within the next few decades, according to NASA scientists leading the an exhaustive search for ET. In uh, recent years, capabilities have snowballed. The discovery of Pluto in 1930 was once thought a once-in-a-lifetime feat. Yet now, even 100 years later, over 3,500 exoplanets from thousands of star systems have been located. And experts say the search is heavily guided by characteristics of our own uh, planet, helping scientists to weed out the inhospitable worlds from those that may have promise of life, such as the icy moons, okay? Uh, and it's unbelievable, really. Uh, before we go looking for life, we're trying to figure out what kind of planets could have a climate that's conducive to life. Uh, according to Tony Del Gino, Gino of NASA's Goddard Institute for Space Studies. We're using the same climate models that we use to project the 21st century climate change on Earth to do simulations of specific exoplanets that have been discovered and the hypothetical ones. There are many factors that contribute to a planet's potential habitability habit ability to have uh, to habitate life including the proximity to its star now this dictates whether the planet has the right conditions to sustain liquid water and if it's too close or is it too far the surface could be dry or barren or completely frozen and from what's known about life on earth water is the key Matter of fact, everywhere we look, whether it is a desert or Antarctica or the deepest parts of the ocean or the deepest parts of the Earth's crust that we've explored, as long as there's a tiny speck of liquid water, there's life. And NASA explains in a new video how to find a living planet. And because of that, it's been central to NASA's search for the habitable, the habitable environments elsewhere nasa looking for et extraterrestrial or if nasa's not careful they will find what they're looking for but they won't like it as the demonic entities the fallen ones lucifer's legions will appear give your life to jesus christ because time is running out. We're going to talk about this in our live broadcast today. Don't miss it. 12 noon Eastern. 12 noon Eastern. Let's explore demons and aliens and E.T. Say the world government should start preparing an action plan just in case Earth is contacted by aliens. They claim that a branch of the U.N. should be given responsibility for what they call a supra-Earth affairs and come up with a detailed response for if or when the extraterrestrials arrive. But now the United Nations is getting ready for a contact with aliens from outer space. This is Maslin Offman. She's out of Malaysia. She will be planet Earth's first interstellar diplomat. An incredible story coming out of the Vatican. Listen to this. The senior Vatican scientist said that he would be delighted if we encountered intelligent aliens and would be happy to baptize them. His pronouncement opens up the possibility of space missionaries heading out to the stars to convert aliens to Christianity. Uh, did the Vatican find alien life? You know what, it's sensationalistic as that question sounds, it's really not that far off from what we've seen in the news 
over these last days. A UFO encounters here on Earth. But that's exactly what firefighters are now training for. It's the Fire Officer's Guide to Disaster Control and said to be found in firehouses across the U.S. The book covers everything from fires to floods, but it's Chapter 13 that takes an unusual twist in firefighting techniques titled Enemy Attack in UFO Potential. It would not be remiss to give some thought to the part that fire departments might play in the event of the unexpected arrival of UFOs in their communities. Or is it enough to warrant a UFO education red alert? This is something that could really happen in our lifetime. It even asks, how do you treat injured aliens? Are first responders aware of the potential physical injuries? This is a real phenomena that we should deal with. We should deal with seriously. Sometime later this year or next year, we expect them to announce. Astronomers will announce that we found it, the Holy Grail. I think it's premature for us to announce our presence in outer space until we know their intention. Scientists say that they examined all aspects of the search for alien life, from astronomy, biology, to the political and religious fallout that would result from alien contact. And the report also said that evolution on alien worlds is likely to be Darwinian, which may mean that extraterrestrials share our tendencies for violence and exploitation. So basically, when they arrive on Earth, they're probably going to be mean. I'm not kidding. One of the scientists actually said, prepare for the worst. Now, today, from science fiction to science fear, news buzz among some scientists that if aliens do exist, that they're mostly nasty, resource-consuming locusts that would stop at nothing to take what they want and destroy anyone in their way. If intelligent aliens exist, they will look just like us. And given our far from glorious history, this should give us pause for thought. So are they coming to enslave us all? And does this mean we have to change our definition of E.T. from extraterrestrial to evil and terrifying? Perhaps we need some outside universal threat. I occasionally think how quickly our differences worldwide would vanish if we were facing an alien threat from outside this world. And we are going to come up against the limits of our own mortality in a way we never could before. And a lot of the things that happen, good and bad, will be stranger than anything ever written in science fiction. I believe that now that we know there are not hundreds, not millions, but billions of other solar systems out there, thanks to the Hubble telescope and what we know about black holes in the universe and all of that, the, the dimensions of physics are such that I would be quite surprised if in the lifetime of people that are no older than 30 here, we don't discover some form of life in another universe. So I think there are lots of interesting discoveries, biological, on Earth, and other discoveries in the heavens that those of you who are younger will get to see unfold. You'll have all kind of problems with them, but on balance, it'll be a plus. And it'll make life much more interesting. Could you believe there are videos now of probably angels in the sky? These events are becoming more and more frequent. People are noticing them more and more. Okay, this is more close up. What the heck is that? The generation now alive is privileged to see the birth pangs of the birth of a new civilization.
Now, the report also says that if ETs do come from an Earth like world, they could resemble us. They might have similar biological molecules. So, hey, that could expand the dating pool. But on the chance that there are, are, are aliens out there, which I totally believe there are, I'm going to be with the scientists on this one and say, let's get prepared. What is that on screen? No astronomer has seen this before. Scientists say they're clueless about what it might be. Uh, back on the screen, what is it? We don't know. We are stumped. Uh, scientists around the world are saying, what the heck is this object? It doesn't fit any of the profiles of the usual suspects. That's the problem. The usual suspects are comet, meteor, stars, galaxies, stars. planets. How about uh, some sort of alien dealio? Could you be. Into that? Well, you know, the object is about the size of the Rose Bowl, Rose Bowl Stadium. So it's too small to be a planet or a star or a galaxy. And it's not a comet. There's no gas in the tail of that comet. It's not a meteor because it's not inside the Earth's atmosphere. Uh -huh. So what is it? We're scratching our head. The only thing we can think of at the present time is a once-in-a-lifetime event, the collision of two asteroids in space. We've never seen that before. That's right. A month ago, we spot this little speck doing all sorts of shenanigans that it shouldn't be doing. The Hubble Space Telescope zooms in on it, and we, our jaws hit the floor. At it's that point, we were saying... Thing. Uh, now, it's called the P-2010A2, and you say that's short for... We are clueless. But on the chance that there are, are, are aliens out there, which I totally believe there are, I'm going to be with the scientists on this one and say, let's get prepared.